Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be studying about physical topologies. Now, what is a physical topology? The physical topology is basically the physical structure of a network or we can also say it is the arrangement of devices in a physical network. So, how different devices will be connected in a network is basically the topology of that network. Okay. Now, there are different types of topologies that we will be studying in detail in this video as well as in forthcoming videos. You must remember that in a physical topology, we are basically talking about two or more devices because if only two devices are connected, they will be connected via a single or a double link, okay, a half duplex, simplex or a or a full duplex link but when multiple links are connecting together different devices to form a network then comes the term topology so a single link is also a to kind of topology the simplest kind of topology but we generally don't use the term topology there okay now coming to the types of topology the first kind of topology is the mesh topology that we will be talking about in the mesh topology, the most important point that you need to remember is that every device in this topology is connected via direct link to every other device in the network. Okay, If the network is following a mesh topology, then every device will have a dedicated point to point link to every other device. Okay, Now dedicated means that the two devices that are having a particular dedicated link will only use that link for communication among themselves. That particular link will not be used for sending and receiving traffic for any other third device. Okay, And point to point we have studied in the previous video also where we also discussed about multicast, broadcast and unicast links. So, uh, every device has a connection to every other device using point-to-point -point links. Now, let us say there are two devices A and B. Now, A and B uh, are connected together. When A has a link to B, it will be sending data. And when B has a link to A, it will be sending data using the second link. Okay. So, if there are Two devices that is n equal to the number of device where n is equal to 2 then how many links we are having we are having two links and how do we get this value to each device is connected to every other device now how many other devices are present in this simplest network one device will be connected to one other device okay so a is connected to b and B is connected to A. So total number of devices are 2 and each device is having one connection. So the total number of links will be 2. Okay. Now let's consider a network following a mesh topology in which there are 3 devices A, B and C. Now A will be connected to every other device. There are 2 other devices. So A has links to B and to C. Okay, these are denoted by blue arrows. Now, B will also have link to both other devices. So, the red link shows the connection of B to A and B to C is denoted by this connection. Similarly, C will also have a connection to both the other devices. So, in this case, when the total number of devices that is N is equal to 3, each device is connecting two other devices it has links to two other devices and how many devices are there total of three so three into two will be the total number of links that will be present in this mesh topology of three devices so in a in any kind of topology it is very important to remember the number of links that that particular topology will have for a given n number of devices okay now, uh, whatever we have seen till now is in the case of simplex connections. Simplex connections we have discussed previously. Simplex connection basically means that data travels only in one direction. So, if you want to send data from A to B using a simplex connection, 
the data will only be transmitted in this direction and not in the reverse direction at any point of time. So if you need to communicate from B to A, you will need another connection, another simplex connection. So as we have seen, if the mesh topology, the devices are connected via simplex links, then in the case of N devices, the total number of links would be N into N minus 1. Okay. Now what will happen if the devices are connected via duplex links, whether full duplex or half duplex, then in that case only one link will be required between each pair of devices. So if A and B are there, we will require only one link. So we can say 2 divided by 2 which will give you one link. Similarly in this case, uh, A and B will be connected by only one link. So instead of two links between each pair of device, now we have only a single link. So we can divide the total number of links by two. Now the number of links would be three. Therefore, in case of duplex connections, the devices will have N into N minus one divided by two number of total links. So this is an example where you can see this. This is a mesh topology having four devices. Now A is connected to B, it is connected to D as well as C. So each device is having three connections. Now when B has to establish a connection to all other device, it will use this common link that was established by A only. It is not creating another link because this link is a duplex link and in duplex links communication can take place in both directions. Therefore, here also how many links we are having? We are having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 links. That means the total number is n into n minus 1 divided by 2 which is equal to 12 divided by 2 which is equal to 3. Okay, so these are the important points that you must remember that in case of duplex links, the, in case of duplex connections, the total number of links would be less n into n minus 1 by 2 where n is the number of devices and in case of simplex links, the total number of uh, links required for mesh topology would be n into n minus 1. Now one other important point that you must remember is the number of input output ports that would be required for each device. Input output ports are basically how many uh, points you require to develop this connection to uh, so every device will have a physical port into which the wire that connects this device to other devices will be plugged in okay in case of wired connections so that is why for each device the number of input output ports that are required are n into n minus 1 ports okay so these are two important points that you need to remember for mesh topology now coming to the advantages and disadvantages of this topology now the biggest advantage of this uh, mesh topology is that since there are dedicated links dedicated links means if a and b have a dedicated point to point link the traffic on this link will only be uh, from either a to b or b to a no other device will be sending traffic here so dedicated links eliminate the problem of traffic congestion in case of a mesh topology okay the second advantage is that this topology is very robust robust means that there is no single point of failure what does that mean it means that even if one particular link becomes faulty or a particular link breaks down the entire network will not come down only the communication between those two devices will get affected and even if uh, that particular link is getting affected, other devices can communicate among themselves. Okay, so there is no single point of failure, no single point of failure. Okay, 
now uh, the next advantage is the dedicated links ensure the privacy of communication in a mesh topology what does that mean is that if a and b are communicating since the traffic is only uh, traveling in uh, between these two devices and not going to other devices so their communication can be secure it can be considered private no other interference can be uh, seen in this in this particular case see we will be seeing in other topologies that when the data is traveling through other devices then in that case there is a chance of interference loss of privacy and security but in mesh topology since there are dedicated links the privacy and security of communication is high okay and the last advantage is easy fault identification as well as fault isolation so if any one of the link becomes faulty the communication between those two points will stop so it is very easy to locate where the problem is and it is easy to identify also and isolate that means solve the problem to cut to cut that part of the network the remaining network will still be working okay so it is not a problem that if any one links becomes faulty the entire network will be affected no only the communication between those two devices will be affected so it is easy to solve the problems in a mesh topology now let's come to the disadvantages of mesh topology so the mesh topology the arrangement that every device will be connected to every other device it requires a lot of hardware resources especially in the form of cables so a large amount of cabling is required in the case of mesh topology and it requires too much space for setting the entire network for setting up the entire network again this is the reason that is associated with a lot of cabling that is required so uh, it will take more space also and physically you might not have that much of space to lay down such a network in which all devices are connected to every other device okay and uh, following the first two reasons this particular topology becomes quite expensive to lay down okay so it is an expensive kind of arrangement and this uh, particular mesh topology is generally uh, followed or this is generally established when we have to connect different offices or different regional offices of telephone companies because in that case you need dedicated connections so mesh topology is only followed when you actually need dedicated connections and no other uh, way of communication shall work so the connection between the regional offices of telephone companies regional offices of telephone companies generally follows mesh topology okay so this was all for today's lecture i hope you uh, have understood the concept of mesh topology in the forthcoming videos we will be studying the remaining four other kinds of topology the star topology bus topology ring topology as well as hybrid topology okay so thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam